Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we got a little Tron coin burn news, and we'll see what my rigs did over the weekend. Be back in a bit. Alright guys, real quick before we get into the news, I have something going on called Bitcoin Fridays, where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. Uh, to be eligible to win, just make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell below, and when the Enter to Win video comes out, you'll be notified, all right? So with that, let's get into the news. All right, so here we are. Justin Suns burns TRX again. More than 670 million tokens burnt. So... Uh, on August 27th, today, Justin Sun, the CEO and founder of Tron Foundation, made another announcement related to coin burn. This time, the foundation has burnt more than 670 million tokens. Um, just announced on Twitter, 670 million, blah, 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 token were burnt from the Tron, by the Tron Foundation. The coin burn is recorded to be the fourth batch of burn by the foundation. In addition... The team has also announced that Tron has over 909 nodes around the globe. The foundation said currently Tron mainnet runs smoothly. There are 909 nodes around the world. Block height 1.8 million as of blah, blah, blah. Uh, token migration is still in process. Meanwhile, Tron will keep Tronix informed. Thank you for the support. So I did, um, did some math earlier and I'll show you real quick. So we got six seven zero 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 six hundred seventy million times current price of Tron going to be point zero two four point zero two four up to sixteen million um, earlier it was fifteen point four million but Tron as you can see has gone up even more. So that little burn is uh, helping the price out just a little bit. Not too much, but not, not too bad. Nothing to complain about. Uh, in addition, the coin burn is noted to be the final step in shifting from the Ethereum platform. All the ERC-20 tokens accumulated by the exchanges are going to be burnt. When a coin is burnt, it means that they have been sent to an address, and once sent to that address, they cannot be recovered. Before the announcement of the coin burn, the foundation had stated that this would encourage fair distribution of cryptocurrency. In addition, it would also control inflation and reward token holders. The token burn has been going on since the launch of the Tron mainnet. The mainnet was launched on the 25th of June and was completed by the Tron Independent Group based on community consensus. Uh, in order to commemorate this, its independence from the Ethereum platform, the foundation has burnt over $1 billion, which is around $50 million. Uh, the concept of coin burn is similar to economics' law of supply and demand. The law states that the low supply and high demand leads to the increases price for, and vice versa. Leads to the increases, increased, leads to the increased price and vice versa. Hence, when coins are burnt, the total coin which is in circulation in the, mar in the market decreases. This, in turn, results with the value of cryptocurrency increasing and investors holding their coin instead of selling it as the value of the token might increase. So, good news on the Tron, Tron burn. Also, a little bit of the um, Tron virtual machine news, uh, along with being listed on yet another... Um, exchange. Trying to be listed on KuCoin gives a boost before the TVN launch. Um, on the 26th, yesterday, Justin Sun, the founder and CEO of Tron, uh, said that they would be listed on KuCoin, a Singapore-based worldwide cryptocurrency exchange. He also stated that the trading pairs TRX, BTC, and Ethereum will be available on August 28th, tomorrow, two days before the launch of the Tron virtual machine. So another listing on another exchange, good news all the way around for Tron. And like I said earlier, Tron is 
may have even gone up a little more. Let's click on it, check it out. 6.38% today, 0 0.02419. Um, teeny little bump there at the end, but hey, it's better than nothing. All right, so let's get into the what the rigs did. So far this week, we're at 14.48. Got about $12.83 worth of um, Ethereum Classic mined and 2,629 Stellite mined on the CPU. Uh, we also did get a Moondex Masternode payout of 55 coins, giving me $1.10 worth of that. Uh, all in all, we're up this week. We're at $553 total mines since I began. So that's what, $55 roughly up above last week total value mine. Uh, this week is looking obviously better than last week. Uh, we should actually get a bit of a bump and not a loss this week as compared to the previous six weeks, I think it was. So good news there. Um, I guess that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, some good Tron news. Um, Hopefully with this uh, Tron Virtual Machine, we'll also see a little bit more of a price increase. Who knows? I guess uh, a couple of days we'll find out. All right, guys. Um, again, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell below. If you guys have any questions or comments, um, please put them down below, and I will be sure to get back to you. And um, if, if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that as well. Okay, guys, so with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.